Police say the teen was crossing Highland Street yesterday afternoon when he was struck. Ray Brewer joins us live in Hudson now with the latest on the investigation. And Ray, is there any word on the victim's condition? Yeah, unfortunately not uh, at this time, Sean. Uh, police are telling us, though, that the teen did suffer possible life-threatening injuries, had to be med-flighted to Boston as they look into what led up to this accident. Hudson police say this car struck the teen while he was crossing Highland Street shortly after 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. The boy suffered serious injuries and was taken to a nearby school parking lot where he was airlifted to a Boston hospital. With the pedestrian strike, the injuries are always generally going to be serious in nature. Uh, his injuries appear to be uh, they're possibly life-threatening. That's why I believe why they uh, med-flighted him out to Massachusetts General. Police say Scott Hicks was driving a 2007 Hyundai Tucson that hit the boy. His wife and son also in the vehicle. The operator of the vehicle is a 49-year-old uh, Hudson resident. Well, he's been cooperative with us, and it doesn't appear that alcohol was a factor. Authorities are now trying to figure out if other factors played a role in the accident. The, the sun does set in the west. So we'll take a look at that as well and see if uh, sun played into any role. And neighbors say they've seen several accidents around here before. The cars fly down this road 40, 45 miles an hour every day, all day long. I have small kids too. I walk them back and forth from the bus stop. 20 years ago when we moved here, it was like a back road. Now people use it as a highway. They cut across from uh, Hudson to Nashua and, you know, it's crazy. Again, uh, this does remain an active investigation. The police are looking into what caused it, and there's no update yet on the boy's condition. Reporting live in Hudson, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.